Okay, so let us try that with my mic on. Let us activate the Elgato. And um, turn that a bit so that I'm not being covered up by the corner. And also let's switch over our stream info. Um, these two, eight, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Category is Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2 is already a category on Twitch. Uh, not retro, not 100%, not GameCube. Uh, first playthrough, casual playthrough, and Switch. <coughs> uh, let's also turn off the previous command because we have not done any previous streams of this. This is my first stream of this. Let's also share on Twitter and Discord that we are switching to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now. <clears throat> it has been tweeted and it has it has been discorded. Okay, awesome. Let's go. And now I'm also realizing... Mm, yeah, it won't take long. We'll quickly update. Update complete. Okay. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> No, I was like, oh, that's what I was going to say, I was like, it's realizing we should have started it first, just in case there was any updates. Hello? There we go. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Only Zelda game I have not, main series Zelda game I have not yet played. Until momentarily. <laughs> Although, it'll be a while until I can say I've beat it, so. I still say I, it's always main series Zelda game I haven't beat for probably a while. <laughs> not sure how many, how long this will take me to beat, how many streams. Of the wild. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of. <coughs> yeah. I think I was talking at work too much today. Open your eyes. Uh, they are open. Just have this blinding light. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. No feet, McGee. Welcome in with the raid. Right as we're starting some Breath of the Wild. How's it going? How are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. What were you up to? Yoshi's Crafted World, nice. How is that treating you? Definitely some of y'all should go check out if you aren't already. I have not played Breath of the Wild before. Nope, I'm literally starting this for the first time right now. <clears throat> Only main series Zelda game. I have, well, I guess now I can't say I've not yet played because I'm, well, I mean, I'm, I haven't really pl played it yet. I'm just in the opening cutscene. But yeah. Only major result game I have not beaten. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. 
that's camera. Jump. Action. Put away. Probably tie a Stardew Valley for your fave game of all time. Nice. Examine. <clears throat> hey, we've got an iPad. That is a Sheikah slate. Same difference. Take it. <laughs> it will help guide you after your long slumber. Oh, I wish I could get how long slumber in real life. Now you're sad you have to go get dinner. Oh, no worries. You've just been streaming. Food is important. <laughs> yeah, this will be my stream game uh, on Tuesdays until such a time as I beat it, however far into the future that may be. Uh, serious Hallow of the Glowing Century. You've never seen this advice before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Marking down for Tuesday schedule. Yeah. Tuesday around five ish, the exact start time obviously varies depending on how long I spend on Animal Crossing and such, but yeah. well worn trousers. Nice. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. These are a bit short though. Hey, we got pants. Yep, thanks again for the raid and have a good uh, rest of your night. Okay. Playing around with Controls. <clears throat> hey, a shirt. Thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Let's put on this shirt. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay. I'm not sure if I've actually seen anyone do this very beginning part. I've really watched a lot of people streaming this game, but I'm not sure if I've seen this very beginning part here. It doesn't exactly seem familiar. Ooh. Bright sun. I understand those feels. Okay. I will do my best. Hey, out into the wide open. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> I like that they do, do the title right after that, like, you have the, a little bit like, you know, waking up and starting off before coming out and then showing the title kind of like, you know, in a TV show how you have like a little bit at the start before you get the title card. 
an old man watching us. Just like in so many video games. Ooh. Take. Tree branch. Uh, wooden branch is actually pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. Doesn't do much damage. Can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Was why? Okay. It's gonna take me a bit to get used. To Ooh, healing room. Calm mushroom found your trees are in high level. You a half heart. It's gonna take me a while to get <coughs> get used to uh, get used to the controls in this. Definitely controls very differently than uh. Switch weapons quickly. Press and hold. Okay. Okay. That's neat. Definitely controls very differently than any of the other Zelda games. Camera controls are nice, though. That's always a plus. Oh, with the squirrel running around. Having fun. Ooh, apples. Common fruit found in trees all around. High relief of fresh or cook it to increase its effect. apples on there? That's all the apples I see on there. Ooh, a baked apple. I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh ho ho. Forgive me, I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple, an open flame, make for a succulent treat. It's a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. Brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this. Uh, where are we? I was napping. Ask her a question with a question. That is fair enough. Because I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I should t I'll tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, was a site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Oh ho, uh, what are you doing? Relax by the fireside, of course. Well, I need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. She'll be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. It's a baked apple. Or it's store three quarters of a heart. Uh, I don't even say if it does anything. Eat it or store half a heart. Ooh. Woodcutter's axe. Nice, nice. What the? Link? Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. There's a map? Aha. Follow the Sheikah slate. 
Shrine of Resurrection, okay. Uh, from one of Nori, here one's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on this Chica Slate. It is both aliens and all familiar to you. You find that you can access the map pressing the minus button. I mean, if a random woman, if you suddenly hear the voice of a random woman in your head, listen to it. That is what this video game is teaching us. Oh. Cause your weapon to um how do I switch again? No, nope, that's not what I do. That's the That's how I do it. Okay, so it does pause the action while I'm switching items like that. That's nice. Bakoblin horn. The severed horn of a Bakoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew to, with some critters to make an elixir. Anything's edible if you try hard enough. Uh, oh, I just actually realized I should turn my phone to silent. I had a, you know, sound on earlier so that I could, you know, hear what my mom texted me, but if I'm not specifically waiting for a call or text to keep it on silent so it doesn't go and distract me. Ooh. Okay, I can use that to target. Choo-choo jelly. Gelatin is a substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusual in the state, but applying a bit of elemental st stimulation will change its form. All right, with just these tree branches. I see you over there, buddy. Crouch and increase your stealth, making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. Just how close can we get to him like this? Ooh, Bakoblin Fang. A tooth obtained from Bakoblin. It's sworn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Could belong a critter to make an elixir. Search. Ancient spring. A spring using ancient machinery. It's light and buoyant enough to float in water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. I mean, that's impressive. That's not right impressive. Oh, wait, there's something here. Buckle club, a crude buckle and club blade club or small prey. It's actually a stick, so its durability is low. I mean, you know, understandably so. Okay. Hey buddy, you see me, I see you. Attacking you with the weapon of your own people. Oh, it has a half heart. That's so it does tell you what it heals. Um, how do we eat? I mean, we hold with X. Select A. Oh, just like that. Okay. Ooh, what's this?
Helium trousers. Traditional dress trousers, high roll fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. So that's what I'll warrant. So yeah, let's change into these nicer ones. Ooh. we march going where there is starch what else will probably with march ooh what's going on down there there's a camp still was the victor. And to the victor goes the spoils. Ooh. Seared steak. Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking that has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Whoa. Oh. See, I wanted to see if I could light that somehow. That's R, that's ZR, that's why. But how do I break it? Yeah, whatever. We want to be going this way, I think. Oh, I should probably grab. I'm going with like the weaker weapons for the moment. Also, I could probably eat another apple. Um, they do half a heart, so if I'm down half a heart, it makes sense to eat one. Ooh, is this something? Oh, it's just a butterfly. Got bows for the ranged attacks. Basic Bokoblin bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch, which is a tight string to the either end, so I don't ex expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Uh, draw a bow, release to fire. Okay. Arrow. Yeah, switch bows. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what was the inventory for? Can you take a bit of getting used to with switching? Oh. Between bows. Traveler sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to hand off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Bow shield. Bogomolin made shield created by craft, attaching a handhold to any flat tree work picked off, off the ground. I mean, whatever works. 
pretty shoddy, so I don't expect it to last long. Raise your shield. Okay. Stuff. Actually, was there more stuff up here from the one we killed earlier? Maybe not. Also, I believe where we're headed is right over here. Here, I assume? Certainly looks like it. Down there, I assume, but... up here first. Oh, this looks neat. Examine. Place a Shiga Slate in the pedestal. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. <laughs> Squirrel! Birds. Bokoblins. The tower. as well. Let's go. It's tower time. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. So we're downloading Google Maps, right? Hopefully this is waterproof. Uh, regional map extracted. you remembering. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. And why am I still tired? <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Okay. So don't let the beast regain its true power. Got it. Will do. Before it's too late. I will absolutely hurry. After doing other side quests. <laughs> Follow the Sheikah Slate. Complete! I like when things are complete. Let's look at this map here. Okay. Eastern Abbey, Great Plateau, Forest of Spirits, Hopper Pond, River of the dead. That doesn't sound at all ominous. Mount Helia. Actually, wait. Was there anything else up here? Doesn't look like it.
think we're fine. Yeah, I definitely uh, slipped there. And I, I know we can take fall damage in this game. That is something I do know from having watched other streamers playing it. hang glider. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others like it have erupted, just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has woken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say? You haven't recognized this mysterious voice? No? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. As you caught sight of that atrocity in the trouting the castle, that is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that violent you brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There are Fetsters. One second. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, there are Fetsters. Building its strength for the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Let's ask. Oh, one second again. Sorry for the sneezing. Let's ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I suppose. I suppose I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded by, uh, on all sides like steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain, or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? Ooh, Pete, you're interested, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Or you're not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider. But not for nothing. Let's see now. How would I trade for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Main quest, the isolated plateau. Open your adventure log. After your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the King of Hyrule is destroyed a hundred years away. Come again, and you hear a voice come from Hyrule Castle. Can you not reach it unless you follow using the paraglider? Old man said he'll give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Come, let me show you something. Do we hasty now? Just follow me. Okay. Where am I following you? There's some Baka ones over there. See that structure over there? The one's shining with a strange light. Behind glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure f for the paraglider. Fair exchange, I believe.
do I switch to... Oh, there we go. Right. The same weapon that I used to attack, of course. Shot. Hit it. And he's having an arrow to form a critical hit that deals two times damage. Okay, let's just go in and. Yeah, change shields quickly. Camps to open, to unlock the treasure chest. I guess that's cool. That's neat. Let's see what we've got. A traveler sword, nice. this, I don't think. I'm not sure how much... I can see it's using up energy, but I'm not quite sure for stamina. I'm not quite sure how much it'll take to reach across the other side, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Where are we going again? Over there. Can also dash, which also takes stamina, but speeds things up a might bit. Something going on with this this rock. Doubt that'll do anything. Uh, okay, so B puts away like anything. Omen Owl Shrine. Examine. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Access denied. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, it's just an elevator. <laughs> Tips and tricks. Check the screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. The adventurous heart must never stop seeking knowledge. Okay, so what do we got here now? To you, set for this shrine, I am Omen Ao. In the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. Oh, are we gonna be Magneto? Let's examine this. Sheikah Slate authenticated, distilling rune.
magnesis. They only metallic objects using magnetism. Okay, I want to metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Which tell the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Oh, that's why there was a rock outside, probably. You selected a rune from your Sika slate. Sure, I thought I had to be hold, stay holding on to the thing. Okay, that's neat. Then cancel it out. We that is cool. Because I've only seen people, you know, do that when I've been watching streams. But I was wondering how exactly that controlled. And obviously, it's going to take me some time to get, you know, good, really good with it. But now I understand how it's controlled. This is probably something. Okay, what do I need to be doing in here? That's where I came. Now, why is this here in the corner? Okay, my next question. Okay, so I can't, I can't move something that I am standing on. That kind of makes sense. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Getting up up there doesn't look like it. Gotcha. Oh, got parts. Ancient screw. Screw is an ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, it has never seemed to show a sign of wear. Oh, I can't climb back up here. Ah, I can climb up here. I see, that's why I can't I can't climb up there, but I need to still need to no. Any 
anything else here before I go chat with him? No. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's going on? How's it going? You, you, you got something on your forehead there. You have proven to possess the result of a true hero. Thank you. I am Omen Ao, the creator of this trial. Now, a hollow monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Helia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Cool, cool, cool. In the name of Goddess Helia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. What, what gift are you bestowing upon me? Please accept the spirit orb. Ooh. Orb. What about morb? No. <laughs> Symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you, and on you, and upon you, upon you too. No, I won't say it like that, because we don't want the goddess smiling upon the band, you two, by accident. Sometimes like, bows. Didn't have time to read that, because I probably would have had a stir right away. That's where you are. Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Oh, or perhaps just something similar. Maybe you're just spying on me. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho, ho. The prince of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate on your you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? I like that they have the paraglider. <laughs> She's asking her. It's, been, it's quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It's interesting, however, to think. How something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. It's not feeling generous. I also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area from by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. To make your way to the top of that tower again. Are you joking? Oh, afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Shiga Slate. See those blue icons? You recognize the cave from where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You travel to any of those places with the Shiga Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Adventure log. Oh man, explain there are total four shines. He'll give you the paraglider once you've acquired the spirit orb from all shrines. So let's try to find over from the top of the tower to find the remaining shrines. He'll point out if you can use your Chica Slate if you travel quickly. Well, let's try that out. Great Plateau Tower. Travel. Beam me up, Scotty. Greedy effects. Certain ingredients give electricity or dishes special properties, but don't get greedy. Greens with different effects will cancel each other out. That's good to know. But wait. How? 
surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you... Oh ho, leave an old man his secrets. Now then, I want you to join me up here so you can use use this shrine as this as a vantage point to search for shrines. You know, with a scope on your Sheikah slate, look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Uh, so you press that and then... Okay. Well, I think I did that before by accident. You did some things and marked them with pins. Because your maps serve as reference points for your travels. So just a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? Experience, wisdom, instinct? Oh, <laughs> you will. Believe it only if you so please. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Well, let's face the right way. There we go. something. Is that the one that I just did? I think so. Okay, that's the one that I just did. So you see, so that's one. That's one, and then I imagine there's one somewhere up here, kind of the four corners. So, no, oh, not that end. Okay, that's the one I just did. Okay, so that's that color. Um, oh, that's... Wait. No, I want... That's the one I already placed. I don't know. We, saw t we, see, we see two, so we can... Can I go to those ones first? First. Oh wait, is that? Oh, there we go. There's the one. There we go. Have trouble finding the shrines? Bye. Oh ho! If you still wish to acquire the paraglider, you must put in the effort. I'll simply give it away. You see. Okay. Well. Let's warp, no, back down to here, just so I don't have to <laughs> climb down. I also want to see he's going to teleport again <laughs> next to me. Or, yeah, the choice of night. Some animals and insects only come out when it's dark. Keep an eye out for them. I understand. I wish I could look up on when it's dark. No. Ooh. Bockoblin arm. Uh, throw the weapon in your hand. Okay. 
Traveler Spear. Oh, right, I wanted to... let's see here. I don't know what I want to do with this. But that, actually... There, that, on the other hand... Um, that could be something. Amber. Fossilized resin with uh, caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component decorate. It's been crafting since ancient times. I feel like I could play Animal Crossing now. This is easily your favorite Zelda? Nice. I'm just starting it for the first time. Or just started it today. I guess I'm like an hour or so in. And I've played and beaten every other main series Zelda game. <laughs> yeah, welcome in as well. How's it going? How are you doing today? Opal. A valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Cool, cool, cool. Now what is this for? Not sure. What do we want to do with this? I feel like there's got to be something we can do with this. I don't know. Good luck, it's rough at the beginning, but it gets better as you get stuff, yeah. It's fun just wandering around and such, and all the little nooks and seeing all the little nooks and crannies of everything. Okay, well, let's start heading at least in the direction of these other shrines while we, you know, keep an eye on things as we go. Ooh. Oh, no. That's not what I want to do. Um, let's... Attack them with their own arms. Now let's use a traveler sword. Uh, oh, he has a he has a bow. That's why I am. Play me in all the main cost of levels except for Four Swords Adventure and Ms. Wagon Remake. Yeah, when I say all the main ones, I mean like at least uh, one version of each. So, like, I haven't played the remake of Link's Awakening, but I play like the original. Oh, can't carry any more melee weapons, okay. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah every, so, when I want to say all main ones, that means like all. Uh, I guess 18 main ones, because there's 19 with this one, but I haven't... Obviously, I just started this one. But yeah, so I have played, including the Four Swords and Four Swords Adventures, Triforce Heroes, which I just beat last Tuesday. But Four Swords Adventures, you play with your friend, but the only fun you have playing was Fort Cream and getting killed over and over. Oh, yeah. I enjoy Four Swords Adventures. We have a keys. It's covered with a very short, sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. Okay. But yeah, I've I've enjoyed every Every Zelda game to some extent or another. Attacking 
sleeping enemies. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Choo-choo jelly. I want jello. Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the place of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Well, actually, speaking of, I could use a bit of healing. Um, sure. Onwards and forwards. I think we're gonna go to this one first. That's the blue one. That one's this way. Seems like it's the one we are the closest to. Depending on what the terrain is like, on the way there, might not be, ooh, what's down there? Um, no, oh, that's what I want to do here. Well, that number is there is my number of arrows. Ah, whatever. Favorite Zelda name? You mean game? So you mean game, uh, Wind Waker is my favorite. Um, we'll see if, oh. We'll see if this one manages to take that top spot. Oof, I need to. <laughs> yeah, he meant game. No worries. Um... There we go, that's what I need to do. Um, another half heart. Player scene, Wind Waker HD. Um, Mostly I've just played, I, I've just played the original Wind Waker, I haven't played the HD version. But I've seen a bit of it being played. Oh. And once again, I am low on... Hearts. That guy's, I guess, just taking, doing a lot of damage to me. Spike Boko Club, that'll be why.
One of your G's much better. I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah. Potentially one day. Um, spike Boko Shield. Can I carry more of those? Get some, see any arrows? Is this an arrow here? Yes. See what we've got up here. Ooh, fire arrows. Switch arrows quickly. way towards the blue yeah generally with uh, like alternative versions of games I don't with certain exceptions I won't get a new version of a game unless I've already 100 percented the previous one these days um, there are some exceptions like if, it, if it's different enough like Pokemon remakes are generally different enough that I consider them just to be separate games for instance but So if I eventually 100% the GameCube version of Wind Waker, then I might go with the try to cut the HD version. Ooh, what? This doesn't seem like a good sign. That doesn't seem like a good sign at all. Still sees me up there. Agent Screw. Oh, sees me over there still. Okay. Well, my first game over. Let's continue. Battle It's dangerous to approach enemies head on when you are low on hearts or don't have protective armor equipped. Always be prepared. I guess I was like right over here. So that's the one that woke up. Oh hey, it even shows an X on the map to show where I died. Let's just go around this way. Job by Shrine. Activate the teleporter and then go on the elevator. Throwing weapons. If your weapon is close to breaking, try throwing it at an enemy using R. It'll double your damage if it hits. Okay, I need to just remember that then. I 
thing with those games, there's a lot of... Those who have fun this try, I'm Shabaj, in the name of this class, highly I offer this trial. Bomb trial. Oh, yeah. You know what this game is? That there's a lot of things you can do, so tr keeping track of all the controls, especially this... Or I'm sure as I play more, I'll get the hang of remembering all the controls, but at the moment it's still kind of... Okay, what does what? But yeah, she gets late authenticated, stealing rune. Remote bomb. A bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cue bombs, so you use whatever best fits the situation. Rune extracted. Okay. Switch runes quickly. Press and hold. Okay. Keep getting confused between like which is, which are the Z R and L, and which are the, just the regular L and R. Um. Oh, I did it again. Ooh, treasure chest. Traveler's Claymore, a basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Spence weight can knock enemies' shields right out of their hands. Your inventory is full. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm just... Oh, see, I'm still doing it. Um... Can we just drop things from here somehow? What do you think about each of the 3D Zeldas? Um, I mean, Ocarina of Time, of course, you know, is the first of the 3D Zeldas, and a uh, bit rough these, you know, rough around the edges looking back at it, but still a lot of fun. Majora's Mask, my second favorite Zelda game. Uh, very much enjoy it. Love the storyline and everything. Um. Wind Waker, like I said, is my favorite. Yeah. Um. Twilight Princess is my least favorite of the 3D Zeldas, but it's still, you know, fun game. Still enjoy it. Uh, Skyward Sword, I know, is one that a lot of people don't like, but I quite enjoy Skyward Sword. And then this one, which I'm just getting the hang of. I think that's all the 3D ones. Unless I'm forgetting something. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I see. Okay, so that's... we're gonna want... no. Oh. 
Oh, that's just to sh this is just to show me what I give me an idea. Oh, wait, there's a treasure chest over there. Uh, play Twilight Princess on the Wii. I did indeed play it on the Wii. Yes, fossilized resin with caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as component decorations and crafting since ancient times. Yeah. So yeah, Twilight Princess play on the Wii. Uh, Sam with Skyward Sword. Uh, Wind Waker was on the GameCube. Ocarina of Time, I have played on the N64, on the GameCube, on the Wii, I think, just a little bit, and on the 3DS. Majora's Mask, I've played on GameCube and Wii, definitely. I might have played on the N64 at some point. I don't have Majora's Mask on the N64, but I think I'm. I originally played it on there, like on a friend's copy or something. Maybe. Uh. I mean, my problem. My, my, the reason Twilight Prince is my least favorite of the 3D games isn't because of the gameplay. Um, like, it, like, nothing with, like, the. with, like, the motion controls or anything. I, I, I just thought. Twilight Princess was a bit um, on the bland side. Uh, play with HD and your second favorite Zelda. Oh yeah. It costs Heliob so upon you, the Spirit Orb. Twilight Princess felt like too much like it was trying to be. It was trying to be too much like Ocarina of Time uh, in, in some ways, rather than kind of doing its own thing. But yeah, like, because I, cause I think a lot of it was Twilight Princess was kind of the response to people's criticisms of Wind Waker being too different, so. But I like the different. <laughs> up some wild cuisine by throwing together some ingredients seeing what happens. You can't cook without an, with an unlit pot. But, you know, it's all personal preference. Like, everyone has their own preferences, what they prefer, and... Yeah. Hey, it's Mark. Welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Actually, you know what? Let's um, switch to that one for less rolling. There we go. It's going well. Nice. The wild is treating me mostly well. Um, had one death so far, which you can see that X right there. So the stamp I placed gone then I guess. Ooh. Where's my bomb placed? Maybe not the best idea. Got an ancient screw. Let's just 
get out of there for now. Maybe come back when we have a bit more than just like three hearts to our name. Okay. I think we want to go to the yellow one next. That seems to be the best idea. We got any more? Uh, ancient screws. Nice, nice. Those things have long range. <laughs> good to know, good to know. What is this fence here? Okay, pocket little screws, always a fun time, yep. Ooh, I see. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. No, that's not what I meant to do either. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Still got to use to all the different controls I have. No, nope, didn't quite. You need to account for... Okay. That was not what I meant to do. Oh well. Okay. Forget this. Um... get the hang of the controls yet, I swear. <laughs> Let's um, get away from these bees. Got some nice arrows. Um, how do we get away from bees? I crap. I did not mean to Crouch. I need to heal up a bit. Um, I don't really have a lot of healing options. Yeah, that's all my apples. Oh yeah, bees are still there. Um, Okay, they seem to have lost interest. Helium room, nice that I can use to heal at some point. Okay. Onwards and forwards. Stop. 
to Malish Room, green mushroom that grows near. She has a forest chuckle of natural energy cooking to release stamina restoration powers. Interesting. Old Man's Diary. Read. With desolate Plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today, I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. Of course, a proper way to read, uh, you know, a book on a table is by standing on the table looking down at it. Trusty not only restores health, but it keeps me warm, even when I'm traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need of that itchy, warm doublet. Duplet? Doublet? Uh, read more. Don't know how I allow this to happen, but it seems like I forgot to write down a very important recipe. It contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I can't remember what else I use. My age is catching up to me. Read more. So that's lonely the path flow, I will need my own knowledge memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredients, I would happily roar them with my warm doublet. For it seems unlikely such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Spicy pepper. Huh? Carry more melee weapons. Okay, I have pilfered his house. Oh, oh fancy that, so we meet again. What are you doing? This body of mine is what it used to be. Recover from of hard work takes a while. Hunger, I have an empty pot you can use to get yourself a meal. Got any tips? So we open your inventory, grab all your ingredients, and toss them in. I consider how the ingredients will call out one another. Can we make a dish that increases your stamina? It's all about being creative and trying different things. Oh, ho, ho. Um. Hold. Let's try this. Let's see what we get. Dubious food. It's too gross to even look at. So our smell issues forth from the eating it won't hurt you though. Probably. Check a meal's grease by selecting it from your inventory and then selecting recipe. Ah, oh, recipe. Spicy pepper stat. <laughs> Lushroom buckle and horn. Pot lead, the little large soup pot. So I lay a poultry broth. Oh yeah, I can't take quite a beating. Can't carry more shields, oh yeah. I got some more shrooms over here. And I think we're near. Are we are we near to the Yeah, we are near to the yellow one. Let's go there. Wait. Is this going to work? Korok leaf. Uh huh. Can't carry more melee weapons. Oh, careful. Do not want to fall down. Acorn. I'll find the ground near a tree. Swirls are all this enough. 
Wonderful forging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Go spear, yeah. I think, yeah, I can't kill any more melee weapons. Go horn, okay. Um, let's grab a, a bunch of these apples. Excellent. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, so we're, we're ready to fight off an entire uh, hospital if need be. Oh, we probably want to get up there. Is there an easy way to do? Ah. I mean, I don't know what easy, but. seems to be the way to do it. Our stamina. Recharge. Rush room. A rush room that can grow almost anywhere before it's sheer cliffs. Before you need to temporarily increase your movement speed. Oh yeah. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go down here and let my stamina recharge. Keep on climbing, keep on climbing. Whew. Slowly, slowly making it up to the top. Where is that sound coming from? I do not like the sound of that, but I don't see anything. Whew. Oof, oof. Long way down. But we made it. Awesome. Let's go. What was that? I missed the name of that. Oh well. Let's see what we got to deal with this time. So far we got Magnesis and Bombs. I'm trying to think, because I've watched people playing this on stream. I'm trying to think now what else is there. This is from the sign. I'm Oa Dame and the name of Goddess Helia. I offer this trial. 
Stasis, right. Chica Slate authenticated, distilling rune. The magic droplets. Stop the flow of time for object, object, stop an object in time while the storage kinetic energy, the storage energy will act upon the object, the flow of time resumes, making use of the storage energy can move even larger objects. Rune extracted, okay. Let's see what we've got to do here now. First of all, we don't want to fall down there. Okay, so... Okay, so it only stays stasis for a temporary amount of time. He's just only dropping one at a time, so I can safely now go and grab this. Traveler shield. Sturdy shield, loved by many an adventurer. An animal high and sturdy, sturdy wood and is best suited to defending against inventory's full. Let's see here. Um, Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ooh. This looks fancy. Iron sledgehammer. Actually used for mine, but it works reasonably well as a weapon too. Can't carry any more melee weapons. anything hidden behind here doesn't look like it okay good stuff let's go your results in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero I promise something <laughs> now got Celia I bestow upon you this spirit orb Helia, Hylia, how is it pronounced? I'm not sure. Okay. Some little courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. We got three. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. And may the goddess smile on you as well. As you evaporate right into the air. Completely normal behavior. Use Alan X to kick off on the surface you're currently climbing. Okay. 
Okay, well that happened. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Save for enemies head on when you're low on heart, sir. Don't have pressure to armor equipped. Always be prepared. I'll try how I feel about the fact that the game, um... Ooh. About the fact that the game, uh, leaves an X where I died. Bye-bye. What do we got here? Traveler's Bow. Okay. That's my... That's a bit better. Okay, what's up here? This seems like it's something up here. Other than a really cool view. Maybe no. Oh, well, maybe we keep going up. Up and up and up. Ooh, okay. That is where we need to be going. But we need warmth first. So let's try a resurrection. So we know there's a uh, fire there, right? That we can use to cook. Swimming cold water will lower your body heat and cause you to take damage. Cooked food in a special garb won't help you. to be too hard to just run action until it falls up again. Good to know. Yeah, because when we came out initially, there was a fire right there, and the old man who's there again. Look who's back. Back again. Look who's back. Tell a friend. Um, cold. Um, let's try this. 
Oh, wait, there's no pot here, is there? So we need to put it in a pot. Hmm. Where was his house? Because that's where there was a pot. Is that? Yeah, that's there. Uh, let's go to the Eastern Abbey then. Ooh, it's past seven already. Might be ending soon. Well, bones are lighter than they appear. Use the wind to your advantage to roll in a certain direction. Or to blow them far, then you can throw them on your own. Oh, wait, but no, this is where we have. Okay. Let's go. Well, there's... Oh yeah, there's where we saw the bees. Does that fire have a pot we can put food in? Also, I'm curious if, um, well, that's not what I meant to do, that's what I meant to do. If I can... Coarser bee honey. I straight from the hives chock full of nutrients, cooking... This into a meal unlocks potential of these nutrients provide stamina recovery effect. Let's just make a dash for it. Bye bye, bees. Yes, this is where we were what we were looking for. Oh, there's a Fort down there. Yeah, because here there's a pot. Okay, so I'll try th that. 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 Cook. Spicy fruit mushroom mix. That's a level of cold resistance that just contrasts the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. Nice. Maybe. Let's make another one with. Some honey and the acorn. Oh. 
honey fruits. The dish that combines two honey with city of sour fruits. Okay, so that gives me hearts, but doesn't help with. Bird drumstick. Tastes better cooked. I can imagine. Hey, buddy. What you doing? How's your shrine explosion going? What are you doing? I thought this tree here might be good. Make for some good firewood. However, may a tree to fell exactly where you want is is quite hard. Just to turn your hips so they face where you want the tree to land. It's best to use an axe when felling trees. Sword works in pinch, but you'll end up ruining the blade. Let's go down here, though. Ooh, the other treasure chest. Yes, okay. stuff. Look at them just hanging around, chatting, having a good time. Oh, they've spotted me. Spotting me was not enough for them to. Ooh, we're gonna explore that in just a second. Uh... Actually, wait, I should not be. sword on that kind of stuff when I can just uh, blow it up. Why did this one not blow up? No idea. Blew up now. Of course, the problem with doing this is, ooh, and is that um, stuff goes flying everywhere. Was this an arrow? This is an arrow. Okay, well, let's go see what our treasure is <laughs> as we're going and picking up all the random junk, ignoring the actual treasure. Throwing spear. Um, Bomb arrow. Okay. 
Good to know, good to know. Let's go back up there and... Ingredient effects. You can only enjoy one effect from a dish or elixir at any given time. If you're only on an active effect, be careful not to cancel it by eating something with a new effect. Actually, wait. The heat thing also would heal me, wouldn't it? I didn't need to eat those apples. Well, let's go and see. Recipe Acorn Spice Pepper Healing Shroom for future reference. Call the resistance. Ah, crap, did not mean to... this over here. Arrows. One horn. Okay, so we're headed over this way. Wait. No, we don't want to be headed over that way. Okay, this seems like it's going to be a bad idea. Oh, we can go over here, maybe. Yeah, this looks like something. I don't know if we're going to have enough cold resistance, though. That is... We may have to, well, we'll see how far we can get and see if I need to reassess. You can always uh, fast travel out of here if. something along the way that'll help us. Amber, okay. And if not, yeah, like I said, we can just fast travel out of here if the worst comes to worse.
but I think we can make it. As long as there's no surprises. And I don't think we need our cold resistance inside the shrine. Oh, there's a surprise. I think we're okay as long as we have this on fire, maybe. That seems to be the case. Okay, that makes sense because, you know, fire keeps us warm. Ah, crappity crap. See, we made it. Y'all were worried. Let's go and see what we got here. Just have fun in the shrine. I am Kanamut. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Oh, Kionis. Yes, that makes sense. Because it's in a cold area. Of course, this would give us the ability to freeze. She could slate authenticated, distilling a rune. One. Oh wait, the last one is the thing for taking pictures, right? I think so. Okay, pillar of ice from water. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Promise on an ice pillar to break it. Seems pretty basic. Yep. 
that's pretty much what I thought. Ooh. Um, let's. Did I have two seared steaks? I thought I already ate one. I might have had two. to jump Eric. Or hit the jump button. See, I'm used to in Zelda games like a jump like that, it would just happen automatically. <laughs> Traveler's Spear. Good stuff, good stuff. Anything else over here? So that worked either way, either direction to get us up here. Nothing else. Yeah, we got that. Something else over there. Can we get up over here? I don't, I feel like That's probably just for looks. Hmm. Oh. Or up there. A lot of seeming hidden in this that I don't think I can reach because like we can't just yeah because we need to freeze water we can't just like freeze nothing nothing back here no okay Your resourcefulness and overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Thank you. In the name of the goddess highly I bestow upon you this spirit orb. We gotta collect them all. Pokemon. So, I mean, spirit orbs. You catch a Pokemon with a spirit orb, they do look kind of like a Pokeball. And the fact that they're circles. <laughs> Symbol of courage, yes. May the goddess smile upon you and upon you as you turn into dust. Like dust in the wind. Wait, but we're inside, there shouldn't be wind. Rafts of sails can move when pushed by the wind, or you can get them moving yourself if you have a Korok leaf. Oh. 
Hey, buddy. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Ho oh, ho, extraordinary. It means it is finally time. Like, it's finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... As your next in your map with four shrines as endpoints, find a spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Two lines connecting the shrines across. There. I will be waiting. Okay, so... Shrine... Right... Um, There-ish? Let's go to the Shrine of Resurrection. Let's go to this cold. Dry grass. go with ooh, more apples. Can always do with more apples. Temple of Time. I don't know if we have time for the Temple of Time. <laughs> See something over there? Maybe not. I imagine the old man's here somewhere. Cause this. Okay, probably further in. over there.
Ooh, treasure chest. Traveler's bow. Inventory's full, but I'm guessing... Yeah, it's better than any of these. So... Let's drop that. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Prey? Okay. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I offer you great power. Because you have claimed four spirit orbs. If you have four spirit orbs, I will apply your heart beating. So what does you desire? No, right now, heart container. For another heart container? Yes. She can have the power you seek. Strength increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. That is nice. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Duh. Where are you coming from now? Must be the goddess made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Up here. Quickly. Get up here quickly. Okay. We just climb up like this, I suppose. Hello, Sue Sense. Welcome in. What's up? Just playing some uh, Breath of the Wild first time. That did not work at all with our plan. Okay. How's it going? What's up with you? Let's try maybe on the outside. M maybe up the ladder. <laughs> Fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. The ladder that was built for precisely this purpose. Okay. Where'd he go? There. Okay, any coming over there. <laughs> what is asexual means not being uh, sexually attracted to anyone. Well, it's a bit more probably than that, but. Sir, was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. 
ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Okay, thank you. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. Mm -hmm. But there was also prophecy. Prophecy? Cool, cool. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Cool, cool. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. Nice. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Mm -hmm. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess sent to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. Makes sense, makes sense. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But then? But then. <laughs> Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. I see, I see. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. Makes sense. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. That's... You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Okay. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. Was Tingle? That knight was none other than you, Link. Oh, that makes sense. You fought valiantly <laughs> when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself. And nothing will stop him from consuming our land. By soon. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom. Do you mean I have time for every side quest first? <laughs> but I am powerless here. Okay. You must save her, my daughter, and 
do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Do whatever it takes. Understood. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four. I just want to open that treasure chest there. As well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Okay. Go on. There's a paraglider just as I promised. I that you receive from the king on Great Pelona. Let's just sail through the air. Press X while you're on the air to use it. Okay. Isolated plateau complete. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Link. You must save Hyrule. Main quest. Destroy Ganon. New objective. Soldier's boat. Boat designed for armed conflict. It's more dangerous than a civilian boat, but it will burn if it touches fire. Inventory is full. Well. Seek out Impa. Okay. Go to Kakari Village. So that's complete. That's complete. Um, one second, need to quickly check something. Okay, sorry. Just needed to check my bedroom window because I guess it's stormy outside again, and just need to respond to text from my landlord. Uh... Okay. Destroy Ganon. <laughs> I don't want to bring him to annihilation for Zelda's fight to contain. Yep. Alright, I was going to. Nicer one. Uh. We okay. That also uses my stamina. That is good to know. Seek 
Old Impa. Well, let us go and wait a second. Here. Amber. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh, right, this is where we have those things. Agent Gear. On a journey out into the greater world of Hyrule. That being said, it's like um, eight o'clock, so it's probably a good point to call it. Since I am working tomorrow, 5 a.m., got a little content. Oh, yeah, I'll we'll need to get that yet. At some point in the future. But we are going to go raid somebody, so if y'all want to join me on the raid, that would be awesome. As we go and see who is live. Who we want to go and raid. Okay. Let's see now. Show all. Could raid somebody playing Lost R. Could somebody playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Could raid somebody playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Could raid somebody playing Minecraft. Excuse me. Minecraft. Could raid somebody playing Hollow Knight. Somebody playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I think it's going to be one of those people, so let me know in chat if you have a preference for any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself who we're going to go and raid. And yeah, should be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central Daily Time. Uh, as with all my weekday streams, tomorrow will be Animal Crossing followed by Star Wars Nice Little Republic. Um. Then Thursday, Animal Crossing followed by Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Friday, Animal Crossing followed by Earthbound Beginnings. Saturday, just Animal Crossing at hopefully 6 p.m., but let's be honest, it's probably going to be a later start. Sunday, maybe Animal Crossing at 7 a.m., but let's be honest, that's probably not happening. Um, no sub request Sunday streams at the moment, I think, because we are caught up on those. And Yeah, we are caught up on those. At the moment, yeah, we're also caught up on uh, marathon streams as well. Uh, then next week, back to 3 p.m. for Monday, Animal Crossing followed by Robo Warrior, and Tuesday, Animal Crossing followed by more Breath of the Wild. That's the schedule for the next week, and yeah. And since nobody seems to have a preference as to who we go and raid. I think, I think, we will go 
and raid. Uh, oh, probably, it's probably ending soon, so I think we're gonna go raid Sleepy Cat playing Hollow Knight. Uh, awesome streamer, raided her plenty of times. Um, always have a good time there, and yeah. So if y'all want to join me on the raid, copy and paste the raid message, join in on the raid, and yeah. Um, thanks everyone for coming out today. Those who chatted, those who just lurked, those who raided, those who hosted, those who subscribed. Uh, you're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a blast, and I will see you all later. Let me just make sure I've copied the right message, and bye.